at Legacy Glassworks in Minneapolis. The open sign is on once again. It sure is. We couldn't be happier. Owner Josh Wilkins Simon's business has been closed since the end of March. Now he can finally get back to selling his glass art. A handful of sales this morning, so we're optimistic. While they stay in their car, we'll bring their order right out to the table. You know, we're hoping everybody's going to utilize curbside because, you know, you got to do what you can in these trying times. In Long Lake, Augusta Dog Training is back open. This is Kathy, how may I help you? You just feel better being able to come to work. Owner Catherine Newman says several people dropped off their dogs for grooming. Still slower than normal. We are slower now at each location than we were in the first days that we were open at each location. Several stores at the Mall of America reopened for curbside as well. Customers can contact those stores online or on the phone and arrange for pickup. Curbside and delivery is a great step for today. Bruce Newstead, president of the Minnesota Retailers Association, says this is a good start for these businesses, but knows just curbside service won't keep them open for good. You know, I guess our encouragement is let's uh, let's do a great job with curbside. Let's keep things nice and safe and hopefully by mid-May, May 18th, we can get open again. Back at Legacy Glassworks, Josh hopes customers will be able to come inside soon for that in-store experience. If we have to do curbside for, you know, the next six months, there's there's no way it'll be able to make it. In Minneapolis, Alex Hagan, Care 11 News.